Today's video is sponsored by WeWatch. Thank you. What's up, everyone? A little different video today. <laughs> so we are coming into the busy season. For those you don't know, we do laser engraving out of our basement, and this is just a big time of the year for us. It is. <laughs> so in this chaos, we had a TV break, and <laughs> when it broke, we watch happened to reach out and it broke a couple weeks ago now so we've been using this for a while and they said they we didn't even they just wanted it in the video they didn't even care what yeah. we did how we did it so i we're thankful that they did this and we're excited to show you guys but with this chaos coming up we're taking a date night yeah so typically this time of year as we're coming into our busy season because if you guys don't know matt and i run a laser engraving shop which is basically a gift shop so christmas season is big. busy time yep so we've been doing all the good things with the kids checking off all the like making sure we're the best dad best mom moments because we know we probably won't be completely a hundred percent but it's important we take some time for the two of us too yep for this is the last time for the next couple of months <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll spend plenty of time together yeah just maybe not date night <sighs> in our living room <laughs> yeah definitely not we're gonna start getting stuff ready we're gonna take you along with, and we figured it'd be a fun little vlog to show you what we're gonna do. <laughs> take you along with for date night. <laughs> yeah, until the movie it. plays, because they can't watch it with us. Yeah, I don't think that's allowed. Yeah. The thing is, we didn't pick out what movie we're watching yet. No, something scary. If only you could tell us what we should watch. Something scary. No, we don't do scary movies. <laughs> what kind of movies do we mostly watch? Marvels. <laughs> Action movies, action movies, comedies, maybe romance. Yeah. <laughs> Matt is used to running our beast of a popcorn machine when the kids are up. Since they're in bed, we got the little guy out and he's trying to rack his brain to remember how much butter to use and how much popcorn to use. <laughs> I think it's funny. I Can you have too much butter? Well, that's why I'm going half a stick. I think half a stick's too much. <laughs> You start off with, I think it's too much. Yep. I guess you could but, always add butter on top otherwise. See, if you wait until the butter starts to get like cooking in there and you can smell it almost like getting to the point where it burns, then you add the seed and you get like black pepper spots on the popcorn, which is butter flavor and it's amazing. That's why I like the butter. Do you have a favorite popcorn? Watch that get flagged for like a uh, music copyright right there. Probably. I don't even know what beat that be. I can hear Mac singing to it. We definitely need popcorn because this is it. I don't have any more. I think that's going to be a, pretty much a stable for the kids for the next month and a half. It up. So Matt and I typically don't go out places on dates. We do have four kids, but we try to make some time for ourselves. How about you guys? Do you set aside time for date night, even if it's at home? <laughs> and if you do, what do you do? Yeah, leave a comment below. We're curious. I don't know, Matt. I think here. it's too far. Oh, it's just starting to turn. So now we dump this. So what are you waiting for? You smell the butter when it's getting hot. You really smell the butter? Now look in there, it looks like it's caramelized. You gotta... Oh, I, I'll take your word for it. Here, see it? Yeah. I thought it was burning. So now, we have the popcorn. But here's the other problem, I don't know how much. Well, we have that... This all down. We have that scoop in there, which makes me think that was the amount. I think it was... No, I think it was two. Two of them, maybe? That could be. Wanna try it? It's not like it'll go to waste. It'll still go. You can always add more butter if it's not buttery enough. We know it wasn't one and a half. It would have been one or two. Right, but how about we just do a half so we're in between? <laughs> so we're wrong no matter what. No. Because <laughs> I could have went more butter. What if there was right. more butter than normal? <clears throat> I can see open here. I don't want it open. I don't know how much butter we were supposed to use, so either we went way over, 
So a cup is half, it'll leak out. You're way overthinking it. It'll leak all out? It'll all leak all out. Leak all. I thought that was like, uh, it'll equal to leaks. Frustrating. Are you frustrated? You are. Now just wait till we pick a movie. <laughs> well, it depends. If she picks, are we sleeping quick? <laughs> I'm always the one who falls asleep during the movie. Yeah, Henry the, Poole. The, <laughs> Yeah, don't watch that. She picked, she picked <laughs> One out a movie. time! That was like after it how, came out. That was, this is how you pick out movies all the time. It's Henry Poole movies. That was like 10 years ago at least. I don't even know that how long terrible. ago. I'll never, I'll never live it down. I pick one bad movie. Don't watch it. That was bad. Just go and read it. It's terrible. It was so The bad. last movie we watched was pretty good. The, the one the, I picked out or the kids No, the one I picked out with the... The last one I picked out with the, I don't know, the guy escaping from prison. I liked that movie. I don't remember what it was called. I think we'll watch like Happy Gilmore. No. Oh, Big Daddy. No. Mm. I don't know. What movie's <laughs> out with that? Uh, I don't know. We will find out. you it is supposed to be two tablespoons of butter <laughs> and one scoop of popcorn how much butter did you use uh, four yes we need salt yep So what we had done is, because we had this for a while, so we had it sitting on tables, trying to find a good situation. We ended up using our camera um, tripod, and it works for now. We've been doing this upstairs in the living room, and it's gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna take the TV from downstairs, bring it up here. Um, little Eli likes to play dirt guns, and that's what happened to the other TV, so. <laughs> um, what we did here is we put a sheet over our windows and that's what we're using for backdrop so and it works so now this hooks up right with our amazon prime and or you can have it go right off of your tv or your uh, phone what movie are we going to go to here i don't know go to hulu we haven't seen anything on there in a while all right we found a movie along came Polly. it is <laughs> so now as far as the we watch goes it's been really helpful with mm -hmm. us because the tv broke and we're we're blessed honestly on getting it it helps out a ton the only thing different i wish there was stands for it that we could get because we have a false ceiling so i'm gonna have to make something out of wood and if then we want so something it's up there, permanent so it's up out of the way yeah so basically it's a projector but it's so awesome because we're using it in place. Of it the works good in small areas. So we're mm -hmm. keeping this in mind for the day comes when we move, we can always, if it's a smaller area, we know we can use this and we'll be okay. We don't yeah. have to worry about a TV. It's so weird to be in the dark on here. Yeah. yeah. But so far we love it. And it's, yeah, it, it's been working great for family movie night. And I'm so excited for date night movie night. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. All right. All right, glad you guys see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.